Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Schalke career mode. We had some big news at the end of the last episode. Of course, Valencia came in and paid Harrit's release clause. And I left you guys with a question and a vote. And um, I can reveal that in the Discord where I do all of my votes now, make sure you join discord.gg slash MGH. I can now reveal that we will be letting him go. There were a lot of votes, and I think it was around 60, 70% of you saying that we should let him go. The release clause will be paid. I will not fix it. He himself came to me and said, look, I'm sorry to be telling you this, but I don't see my future here. So, unfortunately, we are going to be losing one of our best players, 78 rated. He's, he's a bit up and down in form for me. There were moments where he was fantastic, game winning, and then there were times when he was average. So, although I'm sad that we're losing him, it is over 20 million that we're going to get for him, and it frees up a cam spot. However, we are not in the transfer window, so he will not be leaving until January, which means we've still got a lot of time with Harrit. I'm going to be using him, even though he's leaving. I'll, I'll probably drop him for a couple of games, of course, and bring in some of the youngsters. I want to give Bozdoan more chances at cam, but um, it is official, guys. The vote has ended and we will be letting him go. The other vote, of course, was whether I should be selling McKenney or not because of realism. Of course, I want to try and keep these, these career modes realistic. Um, with McKenney, it makes sense that people think it's a bit odd that I've kept him when he's most likely going to sign for Juventus permanently. Um, but I put it to a vote, and it was, again, pretty much a landslide. Most people want me to keep him. So McKenney is going to be staying, at least for now. We'll see what happens in the future. Um, so the only the only change we'll be making guaranteed when we get into January is Harrit will be leaving. Now, what do I do with the squad when he goes? Do I bring in another cam? Do I change De Ketelaire into a cam and play Wamangi Tuka up front and then bring in a left winger? I don't know, man. It's it's a little bit of a tough one. We will decide when we get there. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to still use him in the team. And we do have a game coming up. We've got some training to do first. Of course, we've made a pretty decent start this season. Three games, three unbeaten games, I should say. We've won two and drawn one of them. And our next game is FC Union, Union Berlin, sorry. They'll be coming up next. Cordova has finished his position training. So he is now a right midfielder. That's where he's going to be playing for us. And there it is. It is official. He's gone. Well, he's not gone, but he has been sold. He is no longer going to be our player. 17.5 million euros in the bank. Not too bad, but I'm, I'm still kind of sad, you know. I am. And there it is. Hey, boss, I'm sorry how things played out, and I hope there are no hard feelings. I just want to make sure you'll know that I'll give 100% for the team until the transfer goes through. Um, <laughs> that doesn't help much, lad. I mean, it's a bit condescending, that, isn't it? But I'm going to say you're a team player. I get it. He wants to move. We struggled last season, but we I, I think we will be better off without him in the long run. We can bring someone else in. Anyway, going into the first game of the episode, and I've forgotten to remove the confetti again. God damn it. I need to go ahead and sort that out after this recording session. I just keep forgetting to do it. But anyway, guys, this is a pretty important game. I know Union Berlin can be very good, but last season they finished below us. So... I guess we're favourites going into this one, which I haven't been able to say many times in this career mode. We've gone with the full strength side. Harrit does play. Good tackle, Gvardiol. And he's kept that as well. Plays it up the wing for Wamangi Tuka. Here we go again. Into De Ketelaire. Over the top for Serdar. Inside again. No! Harrit was in. All I had to do was get a slight touch and put it in front of him, but we couldn't. Cross comes in. Oh my god. No, it's gone in. I thought it was going wide. We're 1-0 down. Oh, that sucks. Their first chance of the game. Look at that. I thought I, I, I thought I did enough in that challenge, but clearly not. It's a very good header. I would have liked Timo Timo Horn to get that, but it is what it is. Nice ball into McKenney. Look at the space he's got to drive into. Onto the left side here. Go on. Oh my god again. So close to getting through on goal. Hasn't been the best of starts, but do you know what? I still feel confident. I reckon we'll still win this. Not if I let them through so easily, though. That was terrible from Kolasinac. 
Oh, no. Win that. Oh, no. It's offside. Kalasnach is having a stinker right now. Two brilliant tackles from Quebec there. And that's into CDK. We've got a run being made on the inside. The overlap as well. Here is Cordova. Into the box. No! Again. Guess what? It's my final pass that lets me down every single time. Come on, CDK. Hit it. Oh, decent attempt. It is saved. This is better. We are starting to get closer and closer. McKenney wins the header. What? Oh, my God. It's just wide. So close to the equaliser there. We've only got five minutes until the break. That has gone so quickly. Into the second half here. RB Leipzig are beating Muchin Gladbach. Got to keep an eye out for some of the other results. Don't forget, it's very early in the season. So we're going to start to see very soon which teams are the strongest and who we can expect to be at the top. Oh, my God, that was so close. And I've just given it away. Bad pass. Again, not a good start to the second half. I'm just a bit all over the place, but we can get forward here maybe. Put that over the top. I think that's a good ball. I think we'll get that. Yes. So lucky. No. He's managed to get back. How has he done that? Cordova's really quick as well. He's just blown me away pace-wise. I'm going to make two subs a little bit earlier than I usually do. And one of those is Kutachu. He's going to go up top and CDK is going to play at number 10. Oh, that's mine. Okay. No, it's not. Bozdawan has also come on. And McKenney is now captain. So... Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen. It's a shame you can't choose who the captain is when you take yours off. That's kind of annoying, but it doesn't really matter, of course. I think it, it would go to the, the best player that's maybe got the leadership trait or whatever. I, I don't really know how that works, but we've got 25 minutes left in this game. We are still losing. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to losing in this Schalke career mode because of Season 1 being so difficult. No, 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 no. I don't want to be losing, though. I can't afford to have such a bad season again. I'll just get sacked. We need to be getting top six, ideally. And as you can see, I'm, I can't even get the ball out of my own half. Oh, my God. It's another terrible ball. Try and win this one now. Come on. If we win it here, we can get going down the right. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it's another goal. We are now 2-0 down. It is 100% game over. Wait, what? It's offside. Oh, that's just the luck we needed. Okay, now we go and win this, right? That's how this works. Look at the space here. Oh, oh, look at it. Come on. Come on, Wamangi Tuka. Yes! As soon as I saw it was offside, I knew we've got a massive chance here, guys. We have scored with 15 minutes to go. Can What the hell is that? Can we score another one, though? I reckon we can. Bozdawan will get the assist. But it's all about the finish. Okay. Nice. We can get one more. We can turn this from almost a 2-0 loss into a 2-1 win somehow with a bit of luck. Don't lose focus now, Matt. Come on. Get the ball. Get forward and win it. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. How? My defender's right there. It's Quebec. He's right there. I mean, I've, I've pressed clear. You know, I'm asking him to head it. And he, he, he tries, bless him. But he lets the, the attacker get right in front of him. Oh, that is shocking. Absolutely shocking. Right. So, yeah. We're, we're now 2-1 down. And I've lost it again. I've got five minutes to try and get an equaliser now. Honestly, this has been a roller coaster of emotions, isn't it, this game? Honestly. Unreal. Let's just play this forward straight away. Here is Kutachu. Play it inside. Okay, this is a big chance. Come on. Go on. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. No. No, 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 no. Oh, I tried to play it through for Bozdawan, I think it was. He made a great run. I can't believe this. We're actually going to lose again. Unreal. Come on. We've got time. No, we don't. We don't have time. We have played more than we should have. That's going out, right? He's kept it in. Oh, my God. Blow the whistle, ref. Why are we still playing? Four minutes in. <laughs> what is this ref doing? Just clear it out. Oh, God. 
How embarrassing. I cannot believe it. We missed such a golden opportunity to go from a 2-0 loss to a 2-1 win, but we, we still lost. How? The unbeaten run lasted three games. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's, it's kind of a sad moment, really, isn't it? There I was thinking, OK, we're on to something here, and then, no, just, just like that. OK, next game is against Augsburg. Where are they in the league? Let's have a look. So, obviously, it's early on. It, it, it shouldn't really concern me too much if they're up high, but they're actually not. They've played four, and they've only won one game. OK, so this is another big chance to uh, take three points, but, you know, Union Berlin didn't have a win before this game, and they've got one now. Right, so for this one, Kutachu starts up top, and De Ketelaer will play at Cam. I think... Potentially, CDK will be converted to a cam. I quite like him there behind the striker. And if we can get Kutachu growing and Hoppy, you know, we've got we've got a good chance of getting a new striker coming through and then not needing to potentially bring in a new cam. I don't know. But otherwise, it's the same team up against a 4-4-2. Typically, I feel like I've done quite well against 4-4-2 formations. You find little gaps in between their strikers and midfield. You know, there's a nice little gap there which you can ping through balls. So um, let's see if this works out. Okay, I should have wore the blue kit. <laughs> this green kit, I, I do quite like it, but when it's a sunny day on a sunny pitch, it can be a little bit tricky to see in the sun. In the in the shade, it's, it's not a problem, but yeah, just look for the shorts. Just look for the, the dark black shorts. Oh God. We could have conceded in the first six minutes. What a start. Oh, that's a good delivery. That's bad. That's bad. Yep. I knew it. I knew it straight away. Oh, my God. What a start to this game. Incredible. Just knew it. As soon as he whipped this one in, I knew I was never going to be able to deal with it. That is a brilliant delivery. And it bounces in the perfect place to avoid being cleared. Damn, man. This is not the start we needed after a loss. It's okay. We've got loads of time. Come on. Here we go. Agu running down the right. He is absolutely lightning quick. The cross comes in for Wamangi Tuka. It is cleared out for a corner. Vargas couldn't keep it in. Right. Can I get a similar delivery to their goal? Let's see. Oh, it's good. It's really good. Oh, I thought it was good. It was actually rubbish. The keeper punches it out and no one's there to get the ball back either. Please win that. Nice Kalasinac. Now through the middle. Let's go. Kutachu. Good first touch. Hit it with the left. Almost a pen. Clearly got the ball first. And now we've got another chance to whip one in here. That's not bad, but the keeper's there again. Can't seem to not get it close to the keeper. I'm just going to run into the box here. Lay that over to CDK. Wow, instant tackle from Semedo. How about that for a ball? Beautiful. Agu is getting so far forward again. Gone inside with the fake shot, but it hasn't damn worked. I keep doing the same fake shot thing. It doesn't work. The CPU always get it. Does my head in. But this is good play. Kutachu. Oh. Again. Oh. Oh, my God. That was so close. But again, Kutachu, when he's about to shoot, just gets tackled in the last second. Once again, trying to get Kutachu in. It's working. No, it's not. I should have passed it back as soon as I could. CDK was there. Okay, let's try this again. Corner coming in. We tried it short. Hasn't worked. Come on. Come on, Kutachu. Oh, my God. We've still got it. Here's McKenney. Into the box for CDK. And once again, no luck there. He's not going to blow the whistle yet. For once, I'm getting the extra time. That's a better delivery. Oh, my God. That's the end of the first half. This is... A nightmare. I, I can't score. I'm going for it. I'm just going to completely change up the system. I'm going to have to put Valerie as a left wing back, but it will do for now. McKenney, Serdar. Um, okay, let's do this. De Ketelaer up top. Let's take Kutachu out. And let's bring in Bozduan. Let's do that. Okay, so the 5-3-2 has worked for us in multiple occasions where I've been struggling and I've switched to it at half time. But there has also been games where it is awful. Let's see if this works. Because the 4-2-3-1 clearly wasn't it. It just wasn't working. We definitely seem to have a little bit more space. So it's promising. Here's De Ketelaer now. Still has it. Into Wamangi Tuka. 
Go on, just hit it. Oh, his left foot sucks. Damn, man. I need to improve that weak foot. Here's Bozdawan. Over here for Valerie. I was going to first time cross it, but probably not a good idea. Here's Bozdawan. Into CDK. Okay. Now he has a weak foot. Beautiful. His right foot. Absolute rocket. And we're back in this game, guys. The 5-3-2 is seemingly working. That's what we needed. Just get one back and then maybe we'll go on to win this game. But we said that in the last game. And guess what? <laughs> we lost. Is it going to happen again? I don't know. But we are going to make another change here. I'm going to take off Serdar and bring in Mascarell. And let's get McKenney playing the um, kind of box-to-box -box role. Wait, what? Why? Oh, whatever. It's because it's not an actual CDM spot. But come on. Mascarell can play as the middle central midfielder absolutely fine. That system annoys me sometimes. Here we go. Look at this. Straight away on the break potentially. And it's gone. Good South Park meme. We've got a corner to defend. As Mascarell finally gets on the pitch. It took him ages. The ball just wouldn't go out. Oh no. What? Was that Strobel? Oh my god. I... I... <laughs> what can I say to that? That is an absolute screamer. What the hell is this? He just hoofs it. Um. Okay. We're back to where we were in the last game. Saying things like, oh yeah, maybe we can get the winner. And no. No. Basically, it, that's the answer. No, Matt, you can't get the winner. Because you're going to lose. Again. Okay, come on. Focus. Don't get too mad. It's not over yet. This is good play. This is really good play. It was until the final pass. God damn it. Four minutes to go. Come on. Can I have someone come towards me, please? Can't just magically throw it to you anywhere on the pitch. Right, here's Wamangi Tuka. Inside to Mascarell. Go on. Oh, oh, bit of luck. Turn. No. The defender saw it coming. I think that's probably going to be it unless I win it now. Gavardio misses the tackle. Oh, God. Got to be so careful not to concede another one if I really do want a chance to get a draw. No. Can't get the ball back. It's, it's done. It's done, guys. It's going to be another loss. I started this season so well. And just like that, you concede stupid goals and you lose two in a row. Actually, no. Do you know what? I'm going to let myself off because that was a screamer. And, and the corner, unbelievable. I've conceded two crazy good goals in this game. I know the corner one doesn't look special, but you know what I'm talking about. When, when the CPU whips in the ball and they, they head it in, there's nothing you can do sometimes. When a player like Strobel, who, who isn't known for scoring good goals, that's for, that's for sure, scores one like he did, you, you just have to admit you, you, got, you got beat by a bit of good quality. Oh my god, now we're down in ninth place after playing five games, seven points. We should have minimum ten points by now. Two points per game would put us right up there in the top eight, I reckon. So we have to get back on track. But luckily, guys, we've got a really easy game against one of the worst teams in the league. RB Leipzig up next. Get in there. Well, Kutachu has done nothing for me, to be honest. So let's give Hoppy a go. Why not? He's unhappy. He's got 30 sharpness. So he is playing at a 67 rating. But we just we have to give it a go. Why not? Uh, I'm quite tempted to throw in Van Acker as well. He's content at the moment. I'd like to keep him at least happy so he grows a little bit quicker. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe just playing him on the right. And maybe Cordova could play at Cam. Okay, because I desperately need a win, I'm going to bring Hoppy on as a sub. And I think I'm going to go with Cordova as a Cam. De Ketelaire up top. And then Hoppy will come in. At some point in this game. And let's put Harrit on the bench. Kutachu is a good player. Don't get me wrong. But most times when I've used him so far. It hasn't been great. Um, I'm actually considering dropping Kalasnac as well. At left wing back. He just hasn't been doing a good job. So should I throw in Mendil maybe? Give him another go? We need to get his sharpness, sharpness up a little bit. So why not? And let's have uh, Kalasnac on the bench. Okay. Let's go for it. 
Is it going to be three losses in a row? Surely not. Surely not. We've got some other players coming in for this one that haven't played recently, so that doesn't technically help. But sometimes you need to change it up. I've lost two in a row. I've got to switch things up. You know, I've, I've got to give it a go. So uh, let's see how we get on against a very strong RB Leipzig team. Thought about putting Wamangi Tucker in there. We'll just go for it now. I think he went offside briefly, so had to wait. Here is CDK. Go on the outside. Nope. Okay, that was cut off. Bozdoan against Mukiele. I don't think I've got much of a chance, to be honest. He's an absolute tank. Offside? No? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, we got lucky there to get the goal kick. I was sure that was offside. We almost conceded already. Okay, well, that's good. Well, here we go. Van Acker's in. It's a good run. Oh, no. Mukiele's just going to win it, though. He's too damn quick. Look at him. What the hell, man? Give me a chance. He's so good. He's so tall, so strong, so quick. He might be one of the best defenders in the game. And he's he's a right back, left, uh, left back if you want him to. Centre back. Like, he, he can do everything. He could play in midfield. He could play as a damn striker and he'd still be good. What a player he is. I've won the tackle there. It goes straight back to them. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. We haven't even made it to the 20th minute. I took out Serdar, our captain. For what? I just thought he hasn't been playing that well. I'm going to bring in Bozdoan, who's come on and done such a good job recently. But why Why would I Why would I do that against RB Leipzig? I guess, like I said at the start, just to change things up a little bit, get a fresh feeling in the team. But so far, it, it's not working. You know, some of the other players that I've brought in are just simply not going to be able to compete with these RB Leipzig players. Oh, that ball for Wamangi Tuka was right there. I'm just scared to do it. I don't have the quality sometimes. Try it on the left now. Here we go. Wamangi Tuka. Berber spin inside, and I've lost it again. Skill moves don't work sometimes, man. There's just no way I can make it through. They just stick a foot out, and it's theirs every time. Let's try again here. Go on. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so close as Dortmund take the lead. They're going to win the league again, I think. What a ball. Are you joking? Oh, Lacazette. Laka, Laka, Laka. Wow. He reacted so quickly to a loose ball there. That was a lovely pass in. I thought, oh, it's good. I've, I've got it. And then, no. Guys, it's going to be three losses in a row. And there's nothing I can do about it. My God. This is terrible. Okay, here we go. Maybe something here. Van Acker. Go on. Oh, my God. Guess who's there? Mukiele. <laughs> Every time. And there he is again. Oh, my God. That's the end of the first half. It's very tempting to just jump to result because there's nothing I can do. But you just never know. Maybe in this second half I can pull off a bit of a miracle. But I, I, I don't know, man. It's not feeling good. Onside? Okay. Okay. If he scores this. Okay. Guys, we've, we've got a shot here. If I can do that two more times, I'll win the game, right? That's how it works. There's no way I'll concede more goals. The only outcome now is to get Wamangi Tuka in behind two more times, score two more times, and then I'll win the game 3-2. That's, that's the plan of action. Okay, great start to the second half. Our first chance of the second half, and we've buried it. Come on. What we do here is we win the header, and then we go forwards. Um, okay, change of plan. What I'm going to do is go five up top. And just hope I can score four goals, basically. Um, well, three would do it, but I'm going to concede again, aren't I, realistically? Um, yeah, things are falling apart again. Honestly, I, I get that little bit of hope. In the last three games, that's literally happened every time. I've had that little bit of hope. Oh, hello. Maybe I'll score more. Maybe I'll get the win, and then I get shut down every time. So, yeah, maybe this time I should just... Just admit defeat already. I don't know. Feels kind of stupid doing that though because like I said at half time I felt like quitting and then I scored. I could get one here. Cordova. Go on. Go on. 
Go on. Go on. Oh, and it's gone already. I've got nothing to lose at this point. So we are going to bring in Hoppy up top. We've got Harrit and Matondo coming on as well. And they are bringing on Sriracho, I think that is. Or is it Sirachi? Yeah, Sirachi. And they've got another striker coming on as well. I mean, <laughs> as I said, they're probably going to score again. So at this point, it's just go for it, right? Just just try and score a couple of goals if you can. Bayern are now beating Much and Gladbach. They've been unlucky there with Dortmund and Much and Gladbach in a row. That's that's some tough fixtures. Well, I'll, I'll take that. Thanks. Oh, lovely. Harrit. Yeah, nice. Okay, we'll take a gifted goal. And there's the hope again. There it is, guys. There's the hope. Okay, we can get one more. We can equalise. Yeah, sure, mate. Sure. Believe. Believe that I will get this and just get forward. Okay, well, it's a good save. I was hoping you would have just, you know, grabbed that one and then we could have thrown it out. They're going to take the corner. I'm going to win that. Yes. Okay. Now we get up the pitch and score. That's all I need to do. Mendel, run. Matondo, over the top. Oh, Lookman. Would you mind just maybe not getting in the way of my pass that puts through one of my fastest players in the team? Oh, oh, Van Acker's got that. Here's Hoppy. He's got no support at the moment. Here we go. Bozdoan. No, you idiot, Matt. Why would I do that? It's just such a simple pass out wide I could have done. And now they're going to score, aren't they? Nope, they're not. Gvardiol's there. Nice. Last chance of the game. And I've just... Oh, it's okay. Harrit. He's done us a favour. Come on. Into Hoppy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> He's blowing the whistle. Oh my god. This has been one of the most painful experiences in a FIFA career mode. Oh my god. It is official, guys. Three games in a row that I have now lost after going three games unbeaten at the start. So we've got seven points from six games. Wow. Brilliant. Okay, well, going into October, we have Mönchengladbach followed by Bayern. Then we've got Freiburg. No, Frankfurt, sorry. And then we have Werder Bremen. And we do have a cup game in between. So a busy fixture list coming up. We've got a little bit of time until the Mönchengladbach game. So we might as well just simulate our way there. Let's have a look at the squad and see how the ratings are looking. Because we should have seen some growth, I think. Oh, manager rating's gone down. That's not great. So CDK is still 76. Uh, Bozdoan is still 68. Tior is still 68. Van Acker is still 67. It's going very slowly, isn't it? We, we seriously need to change our form. We need to start winning again because otherwise these players will just simply not grow. And then the whole idea of taking youth through the team, through the seasons, just doesn't work. You know, they need to be growing fast. So um, I'm still giving Bozdoan lots of game time. Um, you know, I, I still plan on using Tior as well. So it, it will happen. I just, I need it quicker. I need it sooner. But that, guys, is the end of this episode. Of course, tonight I'm going to be doing a live watch along of the Arsenal game against Newcastle. So if you've just finished watching this video and you watched it as soon as it came out, I'm streaming very, very soon over on my Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com slash mghfb. Please do check out the live watch along. I've got new graphics. It looks awesome. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. for another Schalke Career Mode episode where hopefully we'll get some wins again. That would be nice, wouldn't it?